You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a newer face for Greater Brockton. I have a good friend of mine, Elaine Reiser. Elaine, welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you for having me. Thanks for Mark. being here. Now, Elaine, you are a Rotarian's Rotarian. You were my sponsor into the club a, a while ago, and you're involved in a great event. Uh, Rotary has a community core that is dedicated to the adult day health program over at what everybody's known as the Sinai Hospital, which is in Stoughton, mm -hmm. okay? A little bit of a change, it's a steward facility now. It's, right. it, they still have the Sinai name at the moment, but they do adult day health, which is for uh, seniors that need to be outside of their home for portions of the day and have a place to go to be cared for. They may not have a spouse or a relative that can do that. They go there. It's like it's like going to daycare for kids. It's very much the same. And it's great socialization for people who have been housebound. Um, they serve breakfast. They serve lunch. Um, everybody's in the same boat there. And mm -hmm. they don't know one another. They get to meet each other. They have activities all day long. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better program. We're so fortunate to have something like this in our area. And what is going to happen on April 30th? There's a, there's a, a it says Stepping Up Walkathon. And correct? that's just what it is. It's a walkathon to raise money. Um, it's going to be held at DW Fields Park on Sunday, April 30th. Um, the registration's at 8.30 in the morning, and the walk kicks off at 9.30. And we're encouraging people to get out and help us raise the funds that we need to make sure that there are no elderly people in the community who could benefit from this program, but who cannot afford it. And it's, I know when I was looking into it that uh, my dad's a veteran but it's not covered five days a week. It would be covered a certain amount of days a week. Some of the insurances don't give you the five days a week, and right. sometimes there's a real need to span over the whole five days. Um, I mean, you've dealt with it firsthand with yes. family members? Yes, yes. You know, it's um, interesting. If you're a caregiver and you have somebody at home and you're responsible for them 24-7, you need a break. And this is a great program. Um, personally, when my husband took ill and I was working, I couldn't leave him home alone and I couldn't stop working. So I was caught between a rock and a hard place. Fortunately for me, I knew about this program because I was a Rotarian and one of our past presidents had started this program, saw a need in the community and felt that we could meet that need by raising funds for the program. And my husband was a young person. I mean, he was in his um, mid-60s, and by standards today, that's young. And he didn't want to go. I mean, mm -hmm. it, to him, that was the bottom line, the pits. You're kicking me out of the house. I said, no, go. Go for a week. And if at the end of the week you don't want to go anymore, fine. At the end of the week, he had met people. He loved it. They had musicians coming in. They had pets coming in. They played games. He played checkers. He met other people who were in the same boat that he was. Mm -hmm. The sad part about it is there are so many people out there who could benefit, even if it's just one day a week, mm -hmm. okay, but who can't afford it. Yep. And it's a medical model. They take people who have... Um, Alzheimer's mm -hmm. or Parkinson's or a medically compromised in some way. And through the fundraising through Rotary, we've been able to provide 6,000 days of scholarships mm -hmm. to people in need. This program has been around, uh, well, our, the program has been around for years and years, but our Rotary Club, the Brockton Rotary Club, started the program of raising funds for them as a as a nonprofit, 17 years ago. Right, and that's and when Ted Bellistock, the past president. Also uh, a Brocktonian. A Brocktonian. Yep. Um, and uh, 
former district governor, a good friend of mine, Barry Claim, a good friend of ours, right. who was the district governor. I think Nick McCummings, who's the incoming Brockton Rotary president, president. for next year, is right. on that board as yes. well. Yes, yes. Mort Feinberg, and, all right. pillars of the Rotary right. community. And right Tina now. White is on the board. And I have firsthand knowledge. Fortunately, I could pay for the service, but there are others that can't. And all of the um, agencies in the greater Brockton area that deal with the elderly rely on the Rotary Club to raise the funds for people they are serving who don't have the funds, or call any elderly services. Mm -hmm. And this, in many ways, can help people prevent them having to put a loved one in a nursing home. Right. Because they're taken care of during the day. There's always a nurse there. Mm -hmm. They have exercise equipment. There's a place for people to lie down if they want to take a nap during the day. And I noticed it was very clean, very orderly. It. What's funny is it, it's in what was an actual daycare center. It was Old Colony Y. Mm -hmm. My ex worked there. It was daycare. It was one of the daycare facilities, and it's turned into a different type of right. daycare but facility. Right, now but it's, now it's no longer, it was at the old colony. Yeah. Why? It is now in a separate building. Right. Uh, right across, across the street. Across the street, on York Street and, yes. and Stoughton. Yes, right, yes. Uh, yes. Right past uh, what people used to know as Albert's. It's a different restaurant. Yes. Now. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But um, so there's a team for me. Your Rotary Club, uh, the Rotary Club yes. of Brockton has a uh, team. Yes. And you're looking, obviously, for sponsors. So right. if people wanted to um, get in touch, uh, there's a phone number on here. I, I can read it. It's a, it's a 617. 543-1433 number, and that's Nick McCummings. And there's Nick Mac, N-I-C-K-M-A-C-95 at gmail.com. That's to uh, get in touch with Nick. I know Nick's out of town. There's also a Facebook for this, which is, uh, you know, everybody knows how to go to Facebook, but you do a backslash R-C-C-A-D-H-P. Okay, and that's not a disease or anything. It's ADHP, but right. Adult Day Health Programs, I think right. that's what it stands for. And there's a nice colorful purple sponsor sheet. Um, get involved, and uh, you're a walker? I am a walker. I'm busy recruiting with friends and neighbors and relatives to sponsor me for the walk, and uh, hopefully we'll raise a lot of money that day. There's going to be prizes, uh, the... Um, baton twirling uh, group are going to kick the walk off. Okay. Um, the elite twirlers, they have all kinds of prizes. And if you raise $40, you get a free T-shirt. There you go. So, um, again, April 30th, um, it's a Sunday, 830 Registration, 9.30 kickoff, DW Field Park. Elaine, you're always helping people. Thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.